Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. And this video, uh, as you can tell by the title, is going to be the investment of scuba diving. And I want to talk a little bit about how you get the best bang for your buck when you get into the sport of scuba diving. Now, there's several things that uh, people get scared of. Uh, one, it, it's costly, or, or they assume it's costly. And we've showed in the past that compared to other sports, you know, hunting, for example, diving is very, very inexpensive. Uh, Two, it is gear intensive, and that one that is one thing that is true. Diving is very gear intensive, meaning you have to have the right gear to go diving, or you just simply can't do it safely. Um, so it is gear intensive. Number three is the opportunity to go diving, and a lot of people, this is where it really catches them. Um, they feel like that the only time they can go diving is any time that they're on, uh, say, a vacation, they're down at the beach, maybe they're in Florida, maybe they're in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, or wherever they want to go on vacation. They feel like that's the only time to go diving, and they neglect their local environments. So I want to show you just how many local environments or how many diving opportunities there are in your local environment. And I'm just going to use ours here in North Carolina because these are the places that we dive on a day-in, day-out basis. If you follow us here on YouTube, you have seen a lot of our treasure hunting videos where we go to a lot of the wildlife accesses and we treasure hunt them. Uh, and we've started doing historical dives here on our lake as well. Um, and we're going to try to get some videos up from those. But I want to take you on a little journey here and I want to show you just how many dive sites we have, not just here on our lake, but within other lakes that are within a 30 minute ride of our shop here and show you just how inexpensive going diving really is. So let's take a really quick look at some maps here and I'll show you a ton of dive sites that if you're in our area that you can dive, but I just about bet your area has some of the same cool sites. Alright guys, what you see here in front of you here, this is just a Google map image of our lake. If I zoom in here, you'll see our dive shop here where it says Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Um, you'll see if I scroll over to the right, you'll see the dam where it breaks off and goes into Lookout. Uh, here's the dam here. So there, there's so many things that we get from uh, using tools like this, such as a Google map imagery to find dive sites that, that are practically free to dive and let me talk a little bit about why it's free to dive these dive sites if you go to the beach right now you're going to pay 75 to 150 dollars a day for a charter where you only get two tanks uh, you go so many miles offshore you get an hour in the water per dive then you're coming back to land well anytime we try to find a local environment one thing that we got to remember most of these lakes are public lakes they're free to for anybody to use if you got a boat there's public accesses and i'll show you some of those here shortly and if you've watched some of our treasure hunt videos you've seen the accesses you see what we find on those and those in themselves are some really cool dives to do but here on this map alone um, like i said i can zoom in the the cool thing about google maps there's two parts to it there's a google satellite imagery and there's a google map imagery imagery now to find a dive site, initially I stay away from the satellite. I'm going to go back to the map mode and I'm going to show you why. In satellite mode, if I zoom way out, all right, so here's the state of North Carolina on the screen and it's very difficult to find a dive site that way. I have to really zoom in and kind of scroll on the screen to try to locate something. But if I zoom back out and I go right back over here and hit map mode, now it takes away all the streets and everything that you see in blue are bodies of water that can be dove. Here is uh, Lake Norman, here is Lake Lookout, here's our lake, Lake Hickory, way up here is Lake James. Um, and most of these, you know, of course, Lake Hickory is where our shop is. Lake James is within a 40 minute ride of us. Lake Lookout's within a 10 minute ride of us. And of course, Lake Norman, we're anywhere between 40 minutes an hour to any cool dive site. So that's a lot of local environments that I can find simply just by going to Google Maps and looking for blue if I stay in the map mode. So once I find a dive or a body of water that I'm interested in, there's two things that I'm going to do. First of all, I'm either going to pick up, say, a Atlantic mapping map or, say, the Kingfisher style maps. And if you're not familiar with them, they are both topo style maps. They're going to show you bodies of water. They're going to show you depths and contours of what's on the bottom, stuff like that. But the one I really like comes from Atlantic Mapping Incorporated. And they don't have maps for every body of water in the United States, but there are several states where they've got... 
uh, a lot of lakes and, and local environments mapped out on it. And I'm going to take a, a quick second here to show you some really neat things on this map and how we use it to find dive sites for free because like I said, we want to make the best investment out of our diving. So once again, I zoomed in, I found a lake or a body of water that I wanted to find and this one here of course is Lake Hickory. I picked me up and of course we sell these as well. This is just a, a, a GPS map of Lake Hickory. Uh, from the Atlantic Mapping Company and I'll act, or Atlantic Mapping Incorporated. I'll actually put a link for their website in the description below and you can go and check them out yourself. But if I open the map up here, something that I want to show you is here on the bottom of the map, and usually there's two sides to it because they, they're usually expanded out to where you can see a lot uh, on one side and then they'll do the other part of the lake on the other side. But each one will have this little um, key here and what the key does is it shows you different points in the lake shows you the latitude and the longitude shows you how deep it is and it'll actually show you what it is so for an example uh, let's go over to a different map here real quick um, and show you exactly what we're looking at All right, so I, I find a body of water that I'm interested in. I find a corresponding uh, map for that body of water. And then, and I'm, I'm just going to use our dive shop as, as a point of reference here to show you. And I apologize, it's very difficult to do this with one hand. All right, so here on Google Maps, you'll see Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. And if I look down on the GPS map by Atlantic Mapping Company, I've found our location. Now, I know it says Taylorsville Beach Marina. That was our name prior to us becoming a dive shop here. But if I zoom in on the map, you will notice that number 11 is highlighted. Um, and it's a red color. You'll see a line that kind of goes out to it. And all these numbers are correspondent with something that was under the water prior to this dam over here being built. So all I've got to do is just find a number find what it is by simply going over here to my key and when I zoom in on number 11 you'll see number 11 it gives me the coordinates the GPS coordinates it says it's in 22 feet of water and it says it's old ruins so an easy thing for me to do to try to locate that dive site is I'll go back to map and you can either do this on the satellite imagery of Google Maps I actually like using Google Earth I'll switch over to Google Earth and I'll go up here to the search bar I'll type in those exact GPS coordinates and it will pinpoint that location, then all I do is simply rename whatever it is. And since the GPS map said it was old ruins, it was in 22 feet of water, that's what I renamed that dive site to. And if you notice, here's our dive shop here. Uh, for the ones that stove here before, you'll know this point comes way out into the water, out in front of the store here. And it's only about eight foot deep. You'll notice the dive site's only about 22 feet. But the really cool thing is I can actually triangulate that and I don't even need a boat to get here. I can triangulate from the point here. There's a buoy right here that I can use and I can also triangulate off the edge of our dock here. And I can actually find this dive site without even needing a boat. Of course, this is private, of course, so we, we've got access. But even if you had a had your own boat you could do the exact same thing that i did here find you a dive site go out there anchor it up if you had a depth finder or sonar on your boat makes it a little bit easier and in 22 foot of water man you could spend an hour almost two hours searching underwater just to to look for this so it makes it a very easy site and this is just one if we go back to the gps map this is just one of the many different dive locations there are just on this end of the lake and i want to show you an, another cool tool about using multiple maps as far as the GPS at, or the GPS map and Google Earth or Google Maps at the same time. If I zoom out, you will notice that I have pinpointed a ton. There's a ton of markers on here of old dive sites. Like here's a house in five foot of water or the foundation of one. Here's one in 18 foot of water, one in 25 foot of water. Here's a couple in 40 feet. Here's another one, an old bridge in 18 feet of water. So there's so many different dive sites just here on our lake that people are completely unaware of. And like I said, people make the mistake, well, I can only go diving in those warm tropical environments. If I continue to zoom out, let's go down to Lake Norman for an example and just show you 
all the different pinpoints. And all I did is I got the Lake Norman version of this map and just went on there and typed in the GPS coordinates, saved those in, and, and then changed it to whatever it said it was. For an example, if I go down here to the lower side of Lake Norman, you'll see there's a ton of houses that were sunk, uh, whether it's just a foundation or old rubble in them. Uh, but there, there's a ton of different dive sites. Here's one in 8 foot, here's one in 10 foot, and it looks like it's right out in the middle of the lake. But even with it being in the middle of the lake, a lot of these areas are shallow and it's great for beginner divers to dive. If I zoom out one more, I want to take you up to Lake James and show you all the cool dive sites there. Here's another lake that we dive a, a lot. Um, and when I made this map up, I was actually surprised at some of the locations that I had no clue. A lot of these I have dove before. Uh, there's several bridges on this one. Here's an old steel bridge. It's in 40 foot of water. Um, there's another bridge here. It's 110 foot of water. It's a little bit deeper, a lot more advanced diving. But there's so many other things in the lake that I didn't know about. And I'll see if I can find one for, for you here. Um, here's ruins on a hump at 18 feet, old foot bridge in 30 foot. Uh, there's actually several graveyards that we located. We had, we've not actually went and dove them yet. We want to go find them and, and see if they're still... Here's one right here. Old graveyard in 40 foot of water. And it's right next to a house in 60 foot. So you could actually do a day's worth of diving. And if you look... Here, here's another cool thing. If you look right over here, here's a public access that's free to put your boat in that you can very easily get in. If you had a depth finder or sonar, once you pull in, put the GPS coordinates in, it's gonna take you right to it, drop your anchor and simply go diving. Here's another old ruins, and this is a little deeper, it's about 92 feet. But here's three dive sites within, you know, seeing distance of this public access, very similar to what it was for us. So guys, do not neglect your local environments. There's so many diving opportunities out there. Use all the tools to your advantage. Do like I do. Go down here to Google. Simply go over to Google Maps. Keep it in map mode. Don't switch over to satellites yet. We'll use that uh, briefly. Find your state. So, and like I said, we're in North Carolina, so I'm going to use North Carolina. I simply zoom in, and you'll see all this blue streaky lines in here. That's bodies of water that's you know, more than likely going to be diveable. You simply zoom in, you find the body of water. And one thing that I do is I might would zoom in and, and try to find a road name, um, like Wayside Church Road and, of course, um, Taylorsville Beach Court, which is where we're located. Uh, just simply try to find a road name. Here you go, Taylorsville Beach Court here. Um, and then when you switch over to satellite mode, you can actually do a search for that name, Taylorsville Beach Court, and then it's going to take you basically right to it. So here's Taylorsville Beach Court. I can see the body of water. I can look to see if there's any public accesses, anything like that. Then you're going to go over here to your topo maps, such as, like I said, the one from Atlantic Mapping Incorporated. I've got the one for our lake. And then I simply just find those dive sites that correspond to what I'm looking at on the satellite imagery. Here's us here. And I'll start noticing all these red numbers in here. All them red numbers that you see that I've got marked as well on, on Google Earth, it's places that are diveable. And it's even going to give you depths. Like number 33 here, we'll go look at it. It's in 15 feet to 25. So it's 20 feet deep on number 33. And all I do is simply go over here and find number 33 and see what it says it is. So there's number 33. There's my GPS. And it's 18 feet deep. And there's an old house there, or old ruins from my house. So guys, don't neglect your local environment because you're missing out on so many really neat diving opportunities out there um, that if you got your own boat, that's great. If not, if a buddy's got a boat, you know, if you're, if you're spending your summer months out on the lake, swimming, going to local sandbars, kneeboarding or skiing, you can also be spending that time diving and getting the best investment from what you put into diving as far as buying your gear, getting certified and doing stuff like that. So guys, as you can see, there is a ton of different dive sites here in our area. I just about guarantee your area is the same. If you've got a local lake or a little reservoir, look for some public wildlife access areas. Get you a topo map. I really like the Atlantic Map and Incorporated maps because they're GPS. They already show you things that were under the water prior to the lake being built. Um, it's got the exact GPS coordinates. It'll also show you depth and bottom composition, or, or not composition, but bottom contour. Uh, so get you one of those maps. That'll help you out. Don't forget about Google Maps, both the satellite and the map view. And, of course, Google Earth is a very good resource. Um, you know, I can take a snapshot of any of this. 
print it off, take it out on the boat with me. If I'm using a GPS on my phone or something like that, I can I can pinpoint a location by looking at the picture and looking at the GPS on my uh, phone or whatever I'm using. So guys, get out there, go dive and explore your local areas. Get the best bang for your buck by simply going diving. Don't always go diving when you're on these warm tropical vacations. Check out your local environments because they offer a ton of great dive sites. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope it opens your eyes to just how many diving opportunities there are. You can see clearly in our area how many we got, and I guarantee you in your area you've got about the same. So, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.